I'm here with Jason Stoddard of Shit Audio, and you guys have quite an interesting new product here this year. So, when you talk about amplifiers, people talk about the amount of distortion coming out of the amplifier itself, but headphones have their own distortion, and usually a lot more than what your amp is going to have. You guys have a product which you are saying reduces the distortion, not just from the amplifier itself, but it actually reduces the distortion that your headphones produce. Can. Can. Okay. You, you, have to, you have to get that weasel word in there. Right. You know, like what McDonald's, they say, made with white meat. And everyone goes, oh, that's cool. It's like, wait, what kind of white meat? And how much? And is it even in the product? They don't yeah. say anything. There's some in there. Okay. So okay. we're putting a can enhance measured performance at the headphone. Right. And we've got a little bit of data for that. It's small. It's like, you know, one to three dB kind of range. Uh, and the problem is we haven't tested a bunch of headphones. It may not really work all that well with planers. It's probably yeah. going to work better with stuff that has wide impedance. Right. Trainers. But So dynamic headphones primarily. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of a, technically it's a mixed mode motion feedback system. Right. It's, it's not current out, but it's not entirely voltage out. It's actually looking at the back EMF and trying to get that into the okay. equation. So it's looking at the, basically, the reactive load that the headphone is presenting to the amp and trying right. to fix that. Yeah. And so you guys are taking a bit of an interesting approach to kind of getting the data out as well, because if you've got a claim like this, you could pay to have a big study done and people would still argue about the results at the end of the day. So yeah. can you explain to people what you guys are doing instead? Well, first, instead of doing the big study and then coming out with a, a stack of gear that's like $3,000, yeah. yeah, because we got to fund the study. And we said, okay, well, we'll just say, oh, this is also the best measuring highest power discrete headphone app we've ever made, and it's $220. Right. Um, so that's step one, it's just like, take away the whole claim about better measurements of the headphone. It's still a great product. Done. The second thing we're doing is anyone who has an acoustic measurement rig at all, you know, who's actually done uh, THD or yeah. CSDs or any kind of like actual headphone measurements or speaker measurements, if we get a speaker amp going, uh, and wants to measure it, they get one free. So we're basically crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing the, the measurements. Okay. But, but you do get a free, free amp uh, out of it. So free amp out of it. And then that, that hopefully now kind of removes us from this horrible position of saying, we have the holy grail of amplifiers that actually improves you know the measurements at your headphones right yeah because oh god you know there'll be, there'll be some gonna... debates well i'm very in, uh, interested to try this i'm looking forward to seeing well not only what people think of it from the sound wise but the re engineering results when people get testing it uh, yeah i think dms and myself will both be having a look at it so uh, yeah and we you know we don't have any requirements for anyone who wants to test it you know positive results negative results. we don't care just do cool. something put something up online so if any of you guys watching have a head and torso simulator or and do i am couplers yeah I, I i am couplers head and torso simulator uh i mean even the really easy stuff like you know you have basically a hunk of foam and throw the headphones on nice. as long as you've actually measured stuff and you've gotten some results you yeah. know, uh, they should reach out yeah they should talk to us because denise will be happy to talk to you get you on the list and, awesome. uh, and that's uh that's how we're going to deal with that. So, awesome. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes of this. It's, it's great be cool. because this morning you've got, you know, actually uh, Sean Olive talking about their approach, which is the old approach. Throw a bunch of money at it and get, yeah. a, lot, get a lot of results. And then you've got our approach, which is like, I don't know, I'm an engineer, not a scientist, so you guys figure it out. Okay. But hopefully, we'll get some help. So it's the shit Midgard, and it's how much for those who want to buy? 219. 219. Thank you very much. Thank you.